Oh, I'm really sorry about that long. <laughs> long will be starting soon. Right as I sat down to do this, I popped out everything, and then as soon as I went live and put all the notifications, uh, I'm just going to be honest, I really had to use the bathroom suddenly. <laughs> and then on top of that, I also changed my pajamas out of my work clothes and, you know, got some drink. I didn't mean for it to take almost 20 minutes. <laughs> but I'm here now, and I'm sorry about that. So let's get started. Hopefully, today won't be repeated of yesterday. Uh, for people watching the archives, what happened yesterday was I played for about 10 minutes yesterday. And then I started dropping 26 to 30% of my frames consistently. And I could not get it to come back. Uh, and I'll go over the little tiny thing I did yesterday. Because I didn't play off screen after that. I just kind of was like, eh, sorry but I can't do it. You know, everything's being weird right now. But uh, we had a town event happen. And I scurried off and did it. Not like a town town event, like a holiday or something, but it was a, a billboard posting. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, right. I forgot. I didn't do any of the lighthouse things. Mm -mm. Whatever, it's Hortimer. I, I don't have time... Balancing a full-time job on top of all this. Let's get the mail. Nice. Read. Trillabite, nothing new. Read. Torch of a T-Rex, that's really good. And a skull! Oh, wow. So these are the fossils I got yesterday, as well as one I dug up. This was the Trillabite, right? Wait, was that again? Trillabite, yeah. And then Dinosaur Track and... Egg game? Thank you. Dinosaur Egg. Oh, gosh dang it, this controller. It's not, it's not even the controller, it's the game. I don't know what it is about it. It's just jank. Like that, that was not me. That was the controller. <laughs> it's still, oh, oh, oh. That's the controller, 100%. You guys couldn't see that, but it just opened the Windows hotbar for no reason. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. But yeah, so yesterday, it's still doing it. Why? It's, all right, hold on, let me, let me try something. Nope, still doing it. Wow. Okay, anyway, so we have a T-Rex torso, a T-Rex skull, and a plesio neck that I didn't get the... Wow. Wow. Let's try that. It's still doing it. That's so weird. So I'm not touching the controller at all right now. It's never been this bad. I wonder if it's because it's really cold in my room right now. That it's like making the controller stick slightly. Nope, still doing it, huh? Hey, stop it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, hold on a second, everybody. Give me one second. Okay, I re the Jimmy Fluffer of the USB. <clears throat> I couldn't nurse this saying that, sorry. So, no, still? Really? Why? Okay, well, I'll just ignore it. Okay. It's never been this bad. It's never been this bad. Wow. Oh my gosh.
That's really weird. I turned off my num my like the num lock on my computer and it stopped doing it. But the num lock is how I uh, oh no there it goes again. Never mind. It was anecdotal. I don't care about that. These can go away. You just go ahead and throw in trash. So if I is it gonna affect the gameplay or just the menu? I could deal with the menu. Well, it's not making my character move. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, now it is. Of course, every time I say it, it's not going to do something, it does. This is the weirdest problem, because this controller is perfect on everything else but the scan. I've said this a bunch of times. It's really weird. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? And this is, this is going to ruin the flow, but whatever. I'm going to save, quit, and then restart Dolphin <laughs> real quick. I'm not going to end the stream. I'm just going to... Uh... Because it's, it's the program itself that messes with the controller, not the controller. Because I play so many other games with this controller, and it's never had drifting on any of them. <laughs> it's usually there a little bit when I play this game, but it's never been that aggressive. One thing I think of is because it's cold. Because I've had controllers in the past that were perfect, otherwise... Sorry, it was perfect unless it was cold. But when it was cold, it would make the controller, like, stick, I guess, would be the way to say that. Okay, I'm gonna restart this. Relaunch this. On my totally legit modded GameCube. That I have hardwired into my computer. Okay. Hopefully that works. I'm Bippy. That's me. I still never went back to the first episode and actually watched it to see if I accidentally pressed the space button. <laughs> or if that's just a weird quirk of the game. That why I'm, I always have double spacing before my name. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Well, it's still there, but it's not being shitty like it was before so that's okay that's weird so now i know don't you start again don't you start again all right anyway so we're gonna so like i was trying to say recap it yesterday when the stream wouldn't stream <laughs> uh i read the billboard oh my really this is the weirdest hard all right hold on i'm gonna try something I don't recommend blowing into your electronics, but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you have to. Just make sure you try to use a dry breath. This is the only thing I can say. And I'm really sorry about all the windows noises. <laughs> so what happened yesterday was, yeah, I logged on and I played it for a couple seconds and it was like, we got a really rare town event. And people bury stuff all the time, but it's not always an NES cartridge, which is really cool. This is before Nintendo were giant cowards, and they would actually put, like, their really old programs, uh, products, I meant to say, in, act in their other ones, but they hid them, but you could find them. Uh, and in this game, you can find actual, as Donkey Kong, uh, you can find actual NESs that have, like, ROMs of the old games on it. So I went and dug up, basically, all you guys missed yesterday was I logged on, I did my whole, like, hey guys, blah, blah, blah. uh, I uh, went in the shop, he didn't have a pickaxe, or a, not a pickaxe, oh my gosh, an axe. <laughs> uh, he didn't have any furniture I really liked either, except for this bird. I think I bought this bird yesterday, but I don't remember. It might have been the day before, whatever. Uh, I dug up one fossil, and I got the other these fossils. I got the plesio neck and the other ones that are selling fodder. I dug up one of those, and then I got this, and then that's when the stream was so bad, dropping frames, I just had to save and quit for the day. So, not much missed yesterday. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, we're going to be digging into that a little bit later. Because that's a fun time. If the controller drift is too bad on that, I might have to... Try to look up what's going on there. I really don't know what it is. 
Oh, it's snowing again. It was snowing yesterday, so there's going to be gyroids today, which is nice. It's a nice bit of pocket change, or if I can find some more of whatever the type I have in my house already is. Ooh, I like that. Give me that. Yes, I want that, please. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's going on my house for sure. Oh, I should also just go ahead and do that right now. Knock that out. Controller! Oh my gosh! Stop! Axe! Axe! Please! Please! Yes, the the area by the the area by the freaking uh, keep want to say town hall. There's no town hall in this version. <laughs> the uh by the post office is so cluttered with extra trees still. I'm dying to get rid of them, and that means I can chop down a tree and plant my peach and have foreign fruit finally. <sighs> I'm so lucky. Uh, so happy. Okay, what do you got for wallpaper and stuff while I'm here? <gasps> Ooh, yeah, let me see it. Yes, I'm gonna take that. I'd buy it later for my room when I get it upstairs. Uh, but I don't get raffle tickets if I buy it off the catalog. Uh, no, nah, I don't. I don't really like the Tommy mats. Or however you say it, to Tommy is how I've said it like my entire life. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, might as well switch these around and then sell the stuff before I forget again. <laughs> I'll sell that, and that. I gotta be careful that Drift doesn't make me go over the wrong thing. Stop it. Oh, that's, that's it. Just those. <laughs> that's not bad. I made back most of my money I spent. Um, these are easy ticket gets. I might as well. And I might like one of these as a background, to be honest. Yep, yep, yep. Five of those? Yeah, you don't have to tell me that every single time. Uh, where'd it go? Here it went. If I didn't have to wear the hat 24-7, this would definitely be the shirt I wear, like, a lot. Because it's very Christmassy looking to me. But I'll just stay with my basic guy shirt for now. Controller, stop it. And I promise I won't keep saying that over and over. I'm sorry. I just... Ooh. I almost like it enough to keep it. Oh well. A cool shirt. I don't want to try it on, but I will take it. Yep. Because I know it's I know it's an ugly shirt. As you can tell just by looking at it on the dummy, I'm not gonna like it. But it looks like it could be an interesting background. Ooh. It is. But it's still like my my groovy better. But it was worth it for the ticket. So that's a pro tip. Uh, I didn't think he did, but he does get, indeed give you raffle tickets for buying clothes. And they're by far the cheapest things he sells that give you tickets. So if you just want to... If you're really not interested in buying uh, furniture and you want to save up money, but still get raffle tickets, just buy the shirts every day. That's an easy... At level 1, he sells one shirt a day, but you can crank that up just by buying shirts and tools that you need for when you first start the game. You can crank that up to a level... Uh, Uh, level 2 store. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Thinking about axing. Uh, and then he has 2 a day. And you only need 5 per 1 play at the end raffle. So actually, wait. I'm actually going to hold off on that. Just for a second. I'm going to drop off these tickets because it's going to bug me that they're kicking up an inventory slot. Uh, right. Wait. We have our... It's the whole reason I have the basement is for storing these things. Oh. 
Got it. And I do want that. I still haven't looked up how to do the golden shovel thing. Uh, that's totally my bad. I literally just got home from work. Didn't even change up my work uniform, and then I started going live, which was my fault. I really should have had that done before. I was like, hey, I'm going live. Oh! Because that bit me in. <laughs> it kind of bit me with that 18 minute will be starting soon screen. <laughs> okay, get rid of this. Um, I honestly like this these pine trees here. Oh, wait a minute. There's one right there, though. No. So get rid of this. Because that one's there. That looks fine. And then get rid of this. And I gotta be ready, because bees can and will fall out of the trees when I start chopping them down. Uh, but if I can catch them, that's a nice amount of money. Same as these bells falling out, everything else can. I can plant a nice flower or something. Uh, like right here would be a good place for a flower, actually. Like a really nice place. So you know what? I'm going to drop one of those there so I remember to come back. And then the other one I'm going to put in my pockets. Oh, yeah, this one's been bugging me. This uh, the, this is where all the trees are cluttered. And there's one more area down south, I think, where it's like real bad. There we go. That one. And this one. Tangy's down there. This one. I'm very particular. Okay. We've worn it down by one stage already. That's fine. But this one being so close to rock always bothered me. Got it. Was there another one up here? I No, I didn't. Okay. I'd hate to not see a stump behind another tree and I leave it there and I don't ever notice it until I run into it again. Weed. 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 Got it. Oh, actually, you know where else would be a good place for a flower? Like right here, actually. This is how I've always like marked places that I wanted to do projects with, like one little tile of things. I just drop bells. <laughs> They're so easy to get. Um, you know what? Honestly, it's the side time. Do I want to? Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. I like having this one here. That's what I'm telling myself. Or do I want to chop this down and then plant the peach tree where that one was? I like the pine trees. That's the problem. <laughs> so where would it be? It would be over there. And then... No, here would... You know what? No, here would be another good place for flowers. Now, that is our three flowers for the day, though. Would it be there or here? Definitely there. It tickles my brain goblins <laughs> better better than uh, the other spot. That, sorry, that phrase. I, I had to stop and think about that phrase. It tickled my mind goblins. Wow. This one's got to go by. Bye. Oh, we found the furniture tree for the day. A regal armoire. Wow. And then... Um, actually, that's a good one. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Sorry to say. I am glad we haven't gotten any bees yet, because I don't want to... I really don't want to run around all day with my face being stung again. Because this is before they introduced the medicine that you can take, and then it just gets rid of it. Like, uh, and you can cheese it, too, by talking to villagers when you get stung by bees, and they'll sometimes, if your friendship's high enough, they'll give you free medicine. Uh, oh, more stationary. That's actually pretty nice. And what is this one? A club shirt. Oh, wait, is that just the shamrock? Hell yeah. Alright, that's gonna be my shirt for a while. Unless this one's better. Airy shirt. 
Oh. That, that's not really a good shirt shirt, but that might be a good background. That's cool. It's like a... It kind of reminds me of like... I don't know why. It, my brain is saying cyberpunk wicker. Like wicker chairs. I, I like that. Do I like it better than this? That's cool. That's cooler. Yeah, that's cooler. My groovy shirt can go in my... uh. Actually, you know what? I can wear it now. Hell yeah. Never mind. This is going to be my shirt for a while now. <laughs> that I found a better background. Uh, you're cool there. And you're cool there. I don't like you two being so close together. And you obscured the pond. Yeah, you obscured the pond. I really hope, I really hope I can, like, shred the line of my town being in balance with nature, but not, not too low, because I really don't, I really don't want to make people's happiness fall because I chopped down trees that were super cluttered all over the place. Uh, yeah, this tree I don't like either. Do it. Clean. That looks nice. Okay. I need to... Oh. Yeah, I... Don't like you, but I don't know if I want to get rid of you. I might. Yeah, definitely. I keep getting sidetracked because I keep seeing trees that, like, my brain doesn't like. I need to go back up to the uh, post office and double check that area, though, so I don't just leave forever. Again, that's a good place for a flower. Right here. So, eh, might as well. I'll try to remember that these are markers for future flowers. And I like this tree here, honestly, but it is blocking the rock. Not that it really matters, but I don't like it being so close to the rock. That uh, mole cricket sucks. <laughs> They're worth so little, it's just... Once you get one for the museum, it's like, why even bother after that? Uh, I don't know if I want to put any flowers here. No, that's a good place for a flower. Is it... No, it is, and it is, and is offset. Which makes my brain feel better. <laughs> so, that's such a weird thing. So I, I don't have like true OCD or anything, but I definitely have things that like rack my nerves if they're not the way I can help it. Oh, thank you. Oh, it must be like right under her. Now I don't have to hear it anymore once it disappears. Bum, bum. Um, do I want to get rid of that tree? Is it... Answer's... Answer might be yes, actually, which is kind of disturbing. Sorry, I'm really doing some hardcore... Hard, hardcore horticulture, as I was going to say, but... <laughs> couldn't even get as far to get to the actual tongue part of the tongue twister before I completely messed it up. Weed. Wait, I see that weed. Get out of here, you pest. I don't mind that tree. I do like that tree, though. Those trees are cool. Something here's gotta give, though. And it's gotta be you, friend. Sorry. Bum, bum, bum. The drift definitely did calm down. It's still there, but it, it, it much more manageable now. I'm really sorry I'm choking on my words tonight. I don't know what that's about. I didn't even have that long of a work day today, to be honest, so, like, my brain isn't fried from talking to customers all day. Which is my normal excuse. But no, I'm just, I'm just bad today. <laughs> Take one little break, and everything goes downhill. 
You know what I want to do? This is this is kind of a risk. Instead of chopping down an existing tree to put a peach tree down, I want the peach tree to be over here. Because I'm going to chop this down because I don't like it being so close to the other tree. But I'll just plant the peach down slightly more. And if it doesn't grow, I'm going to be pissed. Like, I'm actually going to be pissed. Because there's no reason it shouldn't grow here. Okay. Grow, tiny tree. Grow. Give me money. Give me money. Let's see. Hi. Weed. Got it. And I like all these trees here. I still like this little vista. If this was a newer one, this would be like the prime place to jump off with the diving suit. Scuba suit? What do they call it? I think they just did call it a diving suit in New Leaf. I don't remember. Or a wetsuit? I think maybe they called it a wetsuit. I don't know. Regardless. Here we go. Any more trees. So that's the main concern I had with all the trees. Anything else now is just... Oh, Cobb, no. Cleo, what'd you do to make him so angry? Uh, I don't mind that cherry tree there. It's kind of ugly, but not really. Because I'm... I don't see myself shaking tree ch oh fuck. Don't see myself picking cherries to sell anytime soon. Yeah, you gotta go, buddy. always been one of my when I was younger this was my least favorite thing to do was to go around and like make sure that everything was in the place I wanted it to be but now that I'm older it's really relaxing I also like this tree here because it saves me time seeing if this is the money rock oh pill pug. I already don't need one of you you can be a little you can be free little guy hi DJM I've seen you I saw that you've been lurking for a while but I didn't want to call you out how's your night going Sorry, I have to subject you to me rambling about tree placement in my mind goblins. <laughs> and how tickled and or angry they are. It's going alright-ish? Well, it's better than bad-ish. I can say that much. But if something's on your mind, just let me know. But, I, um, you, you know, you don't have to do it in chat. This area is bad. I'm glad I saved some eggs. Wow. Um, like this is fine for right now, but this needs work. Mm. Definitely this one's gotta go. It was bad last night. I get ya. So it's like a residual coming off a bad day day. I'm sorry they're still giving you trouble. Like that, I don't know like any of the details, but I know from talking with you before that there's some there's some rough, stupid details with that. Okay, wait. Let's not be stupid. I don't have much axe left. one here but at the same time yeah okay, I have at least one more left well, I understand you don't have to go into it if you don't want to but hopefully hopefully whatever it is I'm, I'm trying to pick my words carefully here hopefully whatever it is it wasn't something super long-standing and it'll just be water under the bridge eventually but I don't know.
Yeah, I can understand. I am sorry that's still going on, though. there honestly those don't really bug me this area is a little cluttered though mm. I've been all right uh, really just been kind of nose to, nose to the grindstone with work and then I've been trying to get this project going off the ground. It's more of a personal project. I'm not really looking for like success out of it. It's just something to come home to have. Something to look forward to when I come home to unwind and you know talk to some people maybe who maybe I wouldn't normally. But I've been doing well for the most part. Thank you. Hmm. This one's got to go. I think that's the last one, sadly. If I can get one more, I'd be happy. Oh, yes, I got one more tree. Okay. Alright, got that done. This area still looks kind of cluttered to me. I think this one's got to go. That's definitely the last one, though. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I've been well. Uh, I've been... Uh, I'd say I've been, like, very baseline, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, they are. The trees actually have physics, which is really weird to think about. Like, uh, earlier when I chopped the one that was next to the hill, like, the, the cliff... I knew I had that 100 bells out for something, but I didn't know what it was. I'm already forgetting. That's a good place for flower. So it's up here, though. Like, right there wouldn't be bad either. Uh, but yeah, like when I chopped it down by the hill, like the, the like the canyon side here, the trees actually like lean up against it when they fall before they disappear. It's really weird that they like program that in. Now I definitely only have one more left. Like I can feel it in my bones, so I need to choose wisely. And I think the answer is this one. To open up this area a bit more and oh maybe that one though because these these trees are really close together hmm. wait if i do this one then eventually i can do this one then have that open enough and it wouldn't look all well then no because then these trees would be lined up perfectly which looks weird Sorry, I know this is a mess. This is how I play games when I have <laughs> when I have control over everything. I like everything to be like very specific. I don't like this one. The more I think about it, wow. I'm gonna stop saying that's the last one because <laughs> I really thought that was, but it's not. So let's see. Wait, do I just want that one and that one gone? It might be for the best, honestly. This one, like, because this one's kind of blocking this pathway-looking thing. Yeah, I think so. There we go. I knew it wasn't gonna last too much longer. But now I think that's most, if not all, of the things. Ten more up here. I wouldn't be surprised if I went slightly south of, like, the area I was chopping and there's a giant chunk of trees all messed up together. 
But for the most part, it looks good for right now. I'm gonna go buy some flowers and plant them to help offset the crowning as nature. I just, I just, uh, committed is the word I was looking for. Like, these trees are close together, but they're fine. They don't bother me. No raffle tickets for these, but it'll make my town look nice. Blue Cosmos. Okay, that's perfect to plant over there. Same with the trees being in certain places. I don't like same colored flowers being next to each other. If I, if I can spread it out, I like to have the, the smorgasbord of colors be like nicely spaced out. Pink. Okay. That's nice. Got some nice in-between colors. And I gotta still, I still gotta look for fossils and do the money rock and everything. I've been so preoccupied with uh, fixing the trees. Okay, so let's see. There's a red there. That's where one's gonna be. There's a red, and then up here. Oh, dang it! You scared me. Red, and there's one there too. So wait, that's red, and then yellow's there white okay so wait so here should be the pink wait are there some blue ones around here no that's farther down i think that's like down here there's some hmm yeah the blue ones are okay yeah pink goes up there for sure Hello Kitty stores. Like a store in one of the Hello Kitty games? Because I know there's a giant library of games for that. <laughs> for that. Or do you mean, uh, like when you go to like one of the weird themed stores? Not yellow. I almost said the wrong color. Alright, pink goes here. That looks nice. And then blue is too close to the other one. But blue could be nice here. Or even here. The other one I have is yellow. And I think, what's the one over here? White. Okay, so. Uh, hmm. Oh, I get you. <laughs> Does, like, the mascot or the store people just, like, follow you around when you go in there? <laughs> Is it a cultural thing, you think? I don't know. Ah! Stop it. Okay, wait, blue. Down there, blue. No, right, the yellow ones go here. That's still my favorite flower in the game. And then the other blue ones go here, or... Wasn't there one other spot? Oh, there's yellow up there, but it's so far away it doesn't bother me. Yeah, blue goes here. No, not there. Yeah. And they should be far enough away from those signs that if a house spawns with people in it... Ooh, that looks nice. I don't have to worry about the houses, like, killing the flowers. Alright, sweet. Stick that in there. That is a good place for flower. I can't deny. Leave that there for later. Although, wait, I do have to start checking these. Sorry to get that out of the way. Not there. Yeah, falling around. Do you think it was like a hospitality thing, or do you think they were trying to make sure you weren't going to steal something? Because, like, it's one of those stores. Because, like, Hello Kitty brand stuff is. From what I understand, you're mostly paying for the name more than anything so like everything's jacked up super expensive maybe they were just trying to make sure that people in groups weren't going around trying to steal things actually if i'm gonna plant something down here i don't need a flower up here 
and then I'll make a little nice area for the rock. To another lady. They might have just been making sure people weren't stealing. Maybe they were having a trouble with uh, people, like... I almost said pickpocketing. That's not what I meant. I meant to say shoplifting. <laughs> My brain is all over the place tonight. I really don't know what it is. Also, don't take a shot every time I say the word brain tonight. You will die. Oh, we got it. We got it. Sorry about the mash, but it's got to be done. We did it. Uh, what is this again? Oh, my club shirt. Well, I don't need it anymore because the, the groovy shirt's much better. Stick that in there. I do kind of wish there was an option to be like, hey, like a tick box. It's like, hey, if I pick up bells when this box is ticked, just put the bells directly in my wallet instead of when you have to do it every item. I hope the new game has that, because that's a problem even the, uh... Although they did take steps to make it a lot better. The newer games still have that problem, where if you pick up bells like this, it just still spawn in little tiny bags in each pocket. But from what I vaguely saw of the new game uh, trailer, which I haven't really watched so much as I just kind of looked at some pictures, it looks like the inventory system in that game is completely revamped. So who knows <laughs> at this point. Don't run over the pretty flowers. I need those when spring comes so I can catch a bunch of bugs. Oh yeah, I can sell that and that. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. Don't want that. Don't want that. Sweet. <laughs> what the? Hey. Ah! My controller! It's got a life- I'm not doing that. Oh. That was terrifying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was- I was being theatric, but damn, that was scary. I- I don't know. Did I do it again? It's not my controller this time. Now the water's having weird audio bugs too. That was weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my controller like dis disconnected itself for no reason. But now it's doing better. I think I think it's too cold in my room and it's making the technology freak out. I've had that happen before. But it seems like it's better now. Yeah, it seems alright now. I can't wait for the new Animal Crossing game. I've played New Leaf so much, it's not even funny. Like, it's really not even funny. <laughs> It'd be nice to have a little Switch version. Especially since the Switch version seems to be, uh... They're gonna try to revolutionize, like, the, the live uh, multiplayer. Which I'm really curious about. That being said, I have not looked into barely anything about that game because I want that game to be as fresh and new as a newborn baby when I rip it open when it comes out. <laughs> Not that I would ever rip open a newborn baby. Well, don't read into the subtext of that. <laughs> no, don't think about that too hard. That would be nice. Especially since, uh... Isn't the new Animal Crossing the one where you can finally choose, like, the the skin color of your character and stuff like that? That'd be really cool. Because, I mean, I'm super white, but I'm that kind of white where you can tell I had some brown, like, some tan people in my lineage. But, like, it's so diluted, I'm like a, I'm like a coffee milk, kind of. Like, a really, really, really light coffee milk skin person. If you catch my drift... So I'd like to be able to like make my character that color. That'd be nice. I thought I saw a weed, I didn't know. Okay, two out of a possible five fossils. Miss Butch, she's going to bed, I think. 
because uh, I don't think he wakes up until 10. Oh, it is 10. Okay, yeah, you know, he's awake. Oh, here's another area. Okay, here's a little area that definitely needs some work with an axe, but that'll have to wait. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, here's him. Chief, he's also going to sleep. Or, uh, he would be, but it's after 10, so he's awake. Ah, he's mole cricket. I can't wait for them to go away in March. I think is when they go away. Aha. Gotcha. I am too. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to speculate about the designing aspects because they might, they might, like, make it to where you can make, like, your own personal hats. And you can kind of do that in Animal Crossing New Leaf. You can make, like, a really basic knit hat that looked like garbage unless you knew how to texture it right. Because it was literally, it was literally the same kind of thing as the hat my guy's wearing right now. But without the horns. It was just like a base, like, spheroid melted onto your head thing. And you had to, like, really texture it, otherwise it looked awful. You could do that and you can make a horn helmet. That's about it. I'm hoping they make it to where you can make, like, your own ball caps. That's a cool spot for the igloo to spawn. Wow. Oh, found that. Mm -hmm. They fixed that in... I think they made that... I'm trying to remember, because I, I did play Wild World when it came out. I played all of these games since the session, since it pretty much they got released. In the West, anyway. Mm. It was either... It might have been New Leaf, come to think of it, because this style of avatar, before they gave them, like, proper legs where you could change the pants and stuff, this avatar was used all the way through uh, City Folk. City Folk was the last game to use this type of model before they, like, changed it a bit to have, where you could, like, wear pants and shorts and everything. I think New Leaf was the first one, actually, to let you choose, like, if you're a lady or a man. A man could wear a dress and a lady could wear pants. I mean, all all the girls in the game do wear shorts underneath their skirts. Their dresses, I mean, not skirts. Uh, but, like, proper, just, like, wear jeans, I think, was just New Leaf. I never really thought about that. That's, that's weird. But, granted, uh, <laughs> New, uh, New Leaf was also the first game where you men could get ladies' haircuts and ladies could get men's hairs cut. They, they really opened the possibilities with New Leaf. Which is nice, but Japan has always been, in a way, and also in not a way, more progressive. That's a big fish. Uh, more progressive with that kind of stuff than we have down here in the West, but at the same time, not really, because there's still some really, like, messed up laws, but I'm not gonna get into that. Oh, you tricky. I got you, though. Oh. Marble seed. Did I donate you already? I'll keep you just in case I haven't. So I haven't done much fishing yet in this game. Like, this is all i gotten. But it is winter, so it's the perfect chance to get some fishing done. Because there's no more bugs. I've caught every single bug I can catch in this season. <sighs> and it's tiring. Um, there's... I'm going to scope it out a little bit more. for Friends of Mineral Town remake. What's Mineral Town? Is that like another Japanese like life simulator kind of thing? Weed. Get out of there. Oh yeah, this area also needs an axing a little bit, but not too bad. It's just a little overgrown. Other than like, oh, this area too, yeah. See, I knew just south of the, just south of the post office. I remember there was a bunch of cluttered stuff, but it looks like a job for one, maybe two axes. But oh yeah, like here too. Needs a little bit of work, but not much. Who are you? Hello, Savannah. You're new in town. Nice. 
Who else moved in? Uh, Maddie was already there. Savannah was already there. Claire was already there. Let's see. Who the fuck is... Oh, Tangy. Right. I forgot Tangy. Tangy's never by her house, so I always forget that's where she came from. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I know that there were technically, like, lesbian and gay quote-unquote marriages in the game but they had to hide it by calling it the best friend system instead of calling it what it was so technically you could live with your female partner but everyone would just call it oh they're your best friend but when the devs were making it they knew what they were doing like they've come out and said like we knew what we were doing we just couldn't call it that and i think that's pretty baller <laughs> i love when game designers get creative around shit like that No, they took it out of the the west the west thing. There's a, there's a lot of things they changed. It's dumb, but I mean you can't really help it too much. They're getting a lot better about it now. Every, now in every game, it doesn't matter who or what you are. <laughs> but I don't know. Gosh dang it, controller. All right. Uh, anything else to sell? Nope. And these all get donated, except maybe the Barbel Steed, but we'll see. Don't hit the flowers. I love the music in this game. I'll check in here, and then I'm gonna drop by the museum and drop off these skull, skull, almost said skeletons. <laughs> Another shirt, huh? I'll take it. Blue check. Is that the uh, the white and blue gingham thing? Yeah, it is. Which I like. I'm I'm a real sucker for gingham and plaid and like quilt looking things. Yeah, you know what? No. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on. Like, I, it, mm, yeah. If you ever want to know what... Okay, so, like, I've, I've never noticed this until I started streaming. And I have to, like, talk my thinking noises out. That's how I think about everything. Everything. All the time. I'm like, oh, should I... I'm like, oh, should I drink some pineapple juice from the fridge? Or should I just, you know, get some ice and get some diet soda? Mm, well, you know, the diet soda's not cold yet, so I gotta do the ice. But, you know, that might be... And then I'm like, well, yeah, I don't know, because the pineapple juice is already cold, but I can't drink that much, because then I might get sick. You know... That's how I think about everything. Just constant internal conflict. That's the most mundane stuff. But ever since I started, uh, ever since I started streaming, I've noticed like having to vocalize that. It's crazy. Mm. See, I'm weird. I don't do that with meals that much. A little bit, but mostly it's like like what to wear or what goes where and what looks good in what place. Those are the biggest ones that my head cannot take. I almost said brain again. Did I donate this already? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, this is before they added the feature of like your character going, Wow, I've never caught this before, when they catch it. So you have to 100% manually keep track, or else you have to go through this whole kit and caboodle every time of like you already donated it. And you can't speed up this dialogue with blathers either, so this is as fast as it goes. Every time you don't hit the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I got some more. I got some more things I know for a fact I haven't donated. Ah, stop it. They also made it, besides making that quicker in the other games, they also started putting a billboard outside of the museum that kept track of, like, Everything you did. So if you're like, well, did I get this Barbel Steed? You go down to the B section, and then if Barbel Steed was there with your name next to it, you knew you donated it. But undonated things were still kept dash dash. Like, dash was donated by dash. Uh, so that you didn't know exactly what you were looking for. Which is nice, because it would suck if they told you everything that was in the game, but it wasn't donated. Yeah, so all of his dialogue, you cannot... 
Like I'm mashing B right now. You cannot speed up the text. He talks at his own space every time. Wait, what? What did I what did I give him that he didn't want? I wasn't even paying attention to that. Wait. I already have a T-Rex torso? I didn't think I did. Well, he doesn't have a skull. I knew that. <laughs> Except for when you give him a fossil, because he doesn't tell you all the information until uh, you donate the whole thing. Then you can't skip it. But when he's just going like, oh, thank you, whatever, blah, 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 you can speed through it. And I know I, don't, I, know I didn't give you any of this, because the plesiosaur is fucking awesome in this game. I'm really glad that in every single game they brought back the plesiosaur and they made it like a bigger spectacle in each one because they knew that in the first one it was the coolest one. Wait. Okay, wait. Uh, so get ready for some woolly mammoth noises. Oh, look at that. I did have the torso already. Oh, I'm missing his tail. Oh, there it was. Okay, well that's easy to sell then. So is that fish, I might as well. And this groovy shirt I got from uh Gracie. The uh the maybe they are, maybe they aren't transgender fashion designer. <laughs> the butt, yeah. That was a great emote, wow. I really hope that peach grows, man. We got one from another random event when a person, when a townsperson was like, "I have too much fruit. Do you want one for 140 bells?" And gave me a peach, but I planted it in a spot. I guess, even though it was a big, wide open area, it wasn't capable of growing fruit, so it died, and I was really sad. Because <laughs> getting a nice fruit economy up early is really, I don't want to say essential, but it really helps get that money making process going. Also, it feels good to have. Mm -hmm. I like that chair there. Hey. This is 100% going to be my wallpaper in my room upstairs. No! I have to make sure I save before I do that in case it crashes. Because <laughs> I would not want to do all of this all day and then have the game crash and then Rossetti yell at me while all the trees come back to where they were. Uh, mod wall. Wait, what's in here again? Uniform, polish, or western vista. I gotta take the western vista back. I, I, it's a special wallpaper you can only get from the traveling artist guy if you give him his favorite food. It's, it's that. That's really cool for this game. I'm never gonna use it outside of holding onto it because it's a special item. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Oh, sorry if you can hear my stomach rumbling. Dang. Add an item. It is really cool. They have some really nice ones in the newer game, too, that are, like, way higher detail. Like, the, the mushroom forest background is really cool. Yeah, uh, oh, wait, actually, no, I'm gonna put my groovy shirt in there. Because the groovy shirt is a special shirt that I like. And I might want to switch out my background eventually. Do I want to keep this paw shirt? I'm gonna wear the paw shirt. It's still one of my favorites. The blue check shirt's really nice, but the paw shirt, A, I want to free up some space in my drawers, and B, I really like the paw shirt a lot. <laughs> I just do. I can't lie to myself. Yes, and then I'll put this in there for later, because I know I'm going to use that. Also, even though it snowed yesterday, I guess gyroids didn't spawn today? Maybe it has to stop raining for them to do that. I don't know. Do I have just these to sell, right? Yes. And then I have to go mail off my fossils. And then... Maybe I'll write a couple letters. We'll see. I have not been doing the very much... I need to talk to people, definitely. I have not been doing much at all to get my friendship up with these people. Wow. A T-Rex sells for a lot. I also, I really don't want to because it's going to make my downstairs really big. This is also the ver one of the versions where you, if you paid off your debt, 
you had no choice but to get the upgrade. So if you wanted to keep your house the way it was, you had to not pay it off. Because if you did, there was no stopping you the next time you went in the store, he would automatically talk to you and be like, all right, cool, here's the next upgrade, you have no choice. Oh, I need to sell that too. I forgot. Thousand five hundred. That's a lot for a wallpaper. Wallpaper usually sells for like garbage. Uh oh, I don't need I don't need to buy paper because there's a bunch at the dump. <laughs> Friendship. I really like the friendship. Uh, I like and hate at the same time the friendship systems in these games because it's literally, hey, have you talked to them X amount of times today to stave off the natural progression of the of the the decay of friendship? And it's like, well, have you written them any letters lately? Because that gives you a big boost and that can help you know stave it off longer. And it's like, if you take any kind of break, like personal break, hot neon. Wow. And snowy. That's always nice, too. Oh, that's much less exciting than I thought it was going to look. Uh, let's write... Mitzi. Ah. And they made this system a lot better with the touchpad, because doing it with controller really sucks. <laughs> Texting, typing all of this. Bunch. And using good grammar in this game is really hard. <laughs> because they're very, very particular. They don't want sentences to be too long. They don't want them to be too short. You have to use proper, uh, like, punctuation and breaking of sentences. And you have to use the enter key at the right time. It's very precise and if your grammar's off even just by a little tiny bit in letters they send you letters back and instead of being like whoa that was a nice letter you know here's what i've been going up to they send you a letter that says hey i have no idea what you were saying in that other letter it's weirding me out and you get no friendship points from it so it's like a waste of time <laughs> i just got wait i just got doing no my brain is dumb I just got done doing. <laughs> I've had that happen a bunch of times where I'll be te I'll be writing something. Space, and then you have to do an enter. Notice what? Like that I didn't put the done in there? Or that uh, or that you had to talk to them like endlessly to do stuff? Or like the grammar system in general? I just got done doing a bunch of gardening. Gardening around town. Oh, yeah, it's much, it's much more uh, liberal later in later games, but in this game, it is like to the T. You have to be very specific. Boy. See, like, if I said boy, my arms are tired, but I didn't put the comma there, that would instantly make the letter not worth reading, in their opinion. It would, like, bump it down points. Boy, are my arms tired. The drift does not help with this. <laughs> See, the, all right, look, this is another thing. If you finish a sentence, right, and it immediately puts you on the next page, what you have to do is, instead of just keep writing, you have to hit this button, you have to do enter. If you don't put that enter there, it'll count whatever word, like if I put all night right here. No, no, no I spelled it wrong. <laughs> if I put all night there, but I didn't put the enter, it would consider it one word with no spacing. 
it would it would consider it a l l n i g h t but because i put the enter key there even though i didn't physically put a space now it counts as all space night it's very specific and stupid <laughs> after all that digging like they really wanted you to use good grammar if you wanted to impress these people with letters And the same one on the top line where I wrote, I just got done doing a bunch. Uh, I did a space and then I did an enter. Because if I would have put A there, it would have looked weird. Or if I would have put G, it would have been G top line, ardening on the bottom. So I had to do the enter, otherwise it would have not worked that way. It's really weird how specific it is. It was fun though. No, not fun. Not fin, fun. It was fun, comma, at least. Oh. And this. Exclamation point. Now, the one thing they, uh, how do I do this again? No, not, not that. That's how I use the cursor. Not that. Is it this button? No. Ah, this button. Okay. You can. They give you pretty. Uh... You probably didn't notice. I didn't notice it either until I replayed this game as a teenager, and I like was like, "Why are they always? Why are they always sending letters saying my letters are weird?" And I looked it up on the internet, and the internet was like, "Hey, you gotta use like perfect, super specific grammar and punctuation, otherwise they're not gonna like your letters." Put a little flower there. Yeah. They're pretty nice about the use of uh, emojis, though, which is nice. Bob, he's a cool guy. I found an armoire. I hope I spelled that right. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna use Twitch. I'm gonna use Twitch chat. It doesn't even tell me if it's wrong. Gosh dang it. GM, is that the, is that how you spell armoire? I don't I don't do French very well. No, not that fun. I'm gonna treat today. Gotta do that today. Okay, but look. The other thing is, is that if you so if I did an enter here, right? And then did it. It would count as it wouldn't be good grammar because I didn't use a uh, I'm good okay thank you I didn't use a space so you have to do space and then enter and then it's good it's really crazy uh, I'm on a tree today so yeah that was weird. That was a weird... That was a strange... Oops. Event. Mm. Oh, no, that's not meant to be period. Anyway. How's your Friday been? <laughs> if I have room to do this. How's space enter your capitalize Friday? That's all right. They like they like short and sweet letters, and they also that's also a system. They don't like they don't like run on sentences, even if it's grammatically correct, and they don't like letters that 
Well, that's all I meant by that. Sorry. <laughs> they don't like uh, run-on sentences, even if they're grammatically correct. They like you to use, like, proper sentence structure. Maddie's cool. Um, what else happened today? Oh, yeah. I dug up a copy. Ah, drift. Donkey Kong. I should have just enough room. Ah, ah, you tricked me. Enter. Got it. Yesterday. Exclamation point. Double space. Uh... I mean... No, not as mean. No, not meeb. <laughs> I mean, literally. Did I spell literally? Or... No, that looks horrible if I don't do it that way. I mean, literally. I... Dug up. Game system. From the ground. That's not gonna work. There's not gonna be enough room, so I gotta do that. I think this might count as a long since it's just doing commas, wait. I mean, I literally, yeah, if I do it that way, there's less commas. Literally dug up a whole game system from the ground. What a strange town. Sorry, if the controller clicking is really bad, I'm... I'm like... I'm like using my actual keyboard knowledge of like how I type. So I'm looking at the actual word I'm typing and not where my cursor's going. <laughs> it's really weird. I've gotten so used to like WASD and QWERTY keyboards. It's nuts. What a strange town we live in. Town we call home. That sounds better. And then that button, that button, this button. Yep. Got it. Uh, yeah, like I said, they sh they really streamlined the letter writing later in games. Like, because the second game, if you don't count this, the Japan exclusive N64, whatever, worst version of this game, basically. Before the GameCube came version, this one I'm playing right now came out. The next one was on uh, DS, which is Wild World. And they just made it so where you could use the touchpad to type. And it makes it so much faster. And then the Wii version, you used the Wii Mote, which was jank. But <laughs> we don't talk about the Wii version. <laughs> And it's jank. It was really fun. Really good game, but it, typing in the game was equally as bad. <laughs> Drift, stop it. Okay, I wrote one to Bob, I wrote one to Maddie, and I wrote one to Mitzi. Mathilda's cool. Cobb! I love Cobb. Wait, no. Uh, wait. Uh, what's, a, what's a good subject? What's a good subject of what to write? Hmm. You know what, he has that bandage on the back of his head. Let me ask him about that. Oh. Don't see yourself? No, Cobb. <laughs> uh, in later games, you actually can write to your future self and put gifts in letters to your future self. And I think it's like two weeks later, it comes in the mail. So if you're the type of person who just, uh... Oh, Bob, I wrote the bot, yeah. Bob is this super chill purple cat. <laughs> I 
He's a super chill cat who's like always been one of my, f I don't want to say favorite, he's always been one of my more favored uh, villagers. <laughs> now my name in the game is Bippy. B-I-P-P-I. Are you wearing... No. No, oh, this controller drift's killing me. Are you wearing that bandage? Bandage. Just enough space. To look tough. Oh, comma or something. Ah. Well, regardless. I think it looks nice. Well, regardless. I don't need to put well. If I'm going to put regardless, that's redundant. I think it looks nice on you. Gives you. I can't. I don't know how to spell. If I thought that A, I could spell it right, and B, the game would recognize it, I would put je ne sais quoi. Because that'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> I think it gives you a certain je ne sais quoi. If I'm even saying that right, which I know I'm not. Gives you. A. Certain. Oh, sorry, right. Gives you a real edge to your style. And then Cobb is a pig, so I'll do a pig. There we go. And then one more letter to Mathilda, because I think they're cool. Jane, which is cool too. Mm. Yeah, I'll do Butch and Mathilda. I like them. I'm, I, there's some characters in this game. If you want to make best friends with everybody, you could. Do, well, you could do that pretty easily in the newer games because they they kind of tone down how super specific you have to be with everything to get friendship higher. But uh, if you want to be friends with everybody in in this uh, game, like in general, just want to be friends with them, it is a full time job, and I mean that. So I'm just gonna pick like five, <laughs> five of everybody who lives in my town is gonna be my friends. Everyone else is gonna be like a acquaintance or a you know a pal. Butch, um, what breed of dog are you? Nope. Of dog are you? I only ask. Because... Wait. Is it... Is it because, comma, or is it comma because? Like, I know it's but, comma, not comma, but. So I, mean, I guess it's because, comma. Because I think you look like... Oh, 
Like AB gold. Does the dog breed have to be capitalized? I guess not. But I. No, no more butts. I just didn't. There's gonna be room. Oh, there's not. I just did not. This has to be super exciting to watch, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is. It'd be done so much faster if I could use, like, if I could actually hook up my keyboard and do it. That'd be amazing. Crank this out in like three minutes. <laughs> I just did not want to be rude by assuming. Assuming. Comma is all. One more letter, and then we're done. That goes to Mathilda. Because she is a single mother, damn it. She actually is. They don't ever talk about it in the game, but she's literally a single mother. She's a kangaroo with a little little joey in her pouch. Um... Have you ever... Ever... Eaten... Pan fried bananas before. No, are I eating? No. A N A N A S. on how much you like fruit. You enter like other fruit. That's enough. <laughs> Uh, and then I gotta go mail them. And if there's already mail here, it might get sent to my house immediately, which would be cool. And there's not. So just sell, not sell, send off all these uh, fossils first. That one. They made the mailing process a lot better too in the later games. You could just uh, select all, and then all of them would be mailed all at the same time. <laughs> Instead of having to do one by one. I think they did the one by one system even in uh freaking Wild World for the DS. I think they still made you do one by one. But maybe not. But it's been such a long time since I played that one. Wild World was great because not only was it a sequel to a game I loved, but it was a sequel that you could play on the go. Which was amazing. And that's when they implemented like the the Wi-Fi integration and everything to, like, play uh, wirelessly. I don't think you could play at the same time with each other, which is kind of a bummer, because the, 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 the limitations were just too high. But you can still visit other people's towns uh, wirelessly, but I have to go over to their house and plug in their memory card to your freaking game system. <laughs> Uh, and I might as well I might as well bite the bullet and just pay off my rent my debt and uh, get my house bigger again because the sooner I get that second story ooh, the better
mail. There you go. Got all these all mailed off. Rain, sleet, snow, or hail. We'll deliver what you mail. Thank you. And then Pete flies away. Can't talk to him, no matter how many times you try. I think the only time he ever talks to you is, uh... When you have too much mail in your mailbox, and he's, and he's telling you, Hey, you need to clear it out, because I have letters that I can't give you. I think that's the only time in this version you can ever talk to him. Oh, I didn't do the thing I said I was going to do. I have to go pay off my debt. I forgot. You don't do that at the... Where did you tell me that? Never mind, you always do it at the post office. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, not that much. The basements are really cheap upgrade in this one. There we go. So I got a nice little bit of spending money too. Nope, that's everything. Thank you. <sighs> Go talk to the Nook Man himself. I'm gonna be ticked off, by the way, if tomorrow I log back in and all of the letters just say, Why you gotta be so weird? Why you gotta write so weird, man? Because every time I think I nail it perfect with the grammar, and then it's like my sentence was like one word too long. <laughs> all that you owed me. Okay, could I? I was hoping he would offer me a upstairs first, but now I have to get the downstairs as big as I can get. If you say no to that, he just says, oh, don't kid yourself. You know you deserve a bigger house. My roof is going to stay orange, thank you. The preferred color of me. Nice. Nothing to sell. I don't need a third shovel. Yeah, that's it. So, what I'm going to do... Is I've been I'm kind of curious about this. I don't remember if I if it runs properly. I'm gonna save and continue, and then I'm gonna try to log on to that uh, Donkey Kong machine. <laughs> yes, save please. That way, if the game crashes, Rossetti will still yell at me because the game crashed, but uh, he won't. <laughs> Save and continue. I won't lose all the everything I did, all the letters I wrote, all the cheese I chopped, all the flowers I planted. Nothing like that will go away. <laughs> Cause oh, that would be a giant pain in the butt. I just shut off the stream <laughs> and go to bed. <laughs> all right, nice. But I'm really curious if this thing actually works. I seem to remember I had Excite Bike on the save data I had before I deleted it to get the stream going. Would you like to play Donkey Kong? Yes. L button, R button, and Z at the same time. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. 1981. Oh, I gotta hit... I actually gotta hit the start button instead of the A button. That's old school right there. I don't think it's supposed to be this squashed, but whatever. And thank goodness I can play with the D-pad and not this freaking glitchy ass. Drifty controller. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, what? Okay, maybe this is... Wait, no, 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 no. This is not gonna defeat me. Come on, jump man. We got this. What did I do wrong? I have to land, and then it initiates. Okay. Well, that was nice. Nope, go. Oh, jeez. That was scary. Go, 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 go. Okay. Nice, 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 
Nice. Go, 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 go. That ladder's missing a rung. He couldn't even climb that one. I don't run nearly as fast as those other things do. Thank you. Any other games? It it's kind of rare to get these items, to be honest. They're they're hid they're not hidden, but they're made difficult to get to on purpose. Oh, I gotta climb that. I gotta get up to Pauline. I'm not trying to get nice did it. I beat level one. I don't think the game is supposed to be all the way to the left like that either. I think that's just an emulation thing, but we'll see. Give me that parasol. You do, uh, oh, yeah, I was just about to say, you do take fall damage in this game if you fall too far. I didn't want to miss that, but I did. I seem to remember on this level that if you fall to the bottom platform, even if you don't fall far, you still die because there's no way to get back up. So the game designers... What? Oh, I thought I could walk across that small gap. Gosh dang it. Balloon fight's really fun in this game. Or, balloon fight's just fun in general. Uh, GJM, you know what is by far, like, the... So on Switch, they have that thing where if you're a member of the online, you get the free, uh... You get the free NES game pass, and they have, like, a selection of NES games you can play. You know what is by far the most fun game for the NES that I had no idea I'd ever be interested in? But me and my little cousins played it a lot, like, right before I moved over here. Uh, freaking ice hockey. Just called ice hockey for NES. It was so much fun. If I ever get a capture card, I'm going to play that on stream. If I can get someone to play it with, especially. Is there a way to tell if they're going to go down the ladders? Oh, no. RNG, why? These old games, man. Uh, the one criticism I will always have about this game, I can't play it longer than 10 minutes because the sound, the beep boop noises of him walking drive me insane after a while. Do they only fall down the broken ones? No, they don't. Don't you dare. Oh! I have no idea how to tell if they're going to do that, if they even do. If I, I'm going to play until I die one more time, and then I'm going to stop. And then end the stream. But this is cool. I always admired Nintendo before they became giant cowards. That they would, uh... That they hid these little things in here. And it was full-fledged ROMs. Don't you dare. Thank you. I don't know if there is a way to... I didn't climb up enough. I, did, I hit the A button to jump, but I didn't climb up enough. Oh, that's fun. Saving to memory card. They're only in this one. They never brought them back for any of the sequels because they were like, hey, we could throw these on a store and make money off of them. And they're just giant cowards now. Oh! It's already almost 9 o'clock my time at night. Mm. DJM, are you are you in my Discord? I don't remember. I mean, I, I totally understand if you're one of those people. Let me rephrase that. That sounds rude. I understand if you don't like to have your Discord cluttered with a bunch of servers. But uh, do you do I have you in my server? If you're interested, I could pull up the link. It's not super duper active right now. Oh, I forgot to turn the numpad off. Oh, that. Yeah, there we go. I I've got a lot of really nice people in there. Some of them you some of them you know undoubtedly. Some of them you know already. <laughs> but. You know, that way when I go live, you'll get a little beep boop about it. Unless you already do that on Twitch. But I was just curious. I don't remember if I actually sent out an invite to, like, a lot of people. I know I missed a bunch when I gave out the original invitations. Mm. 
Mm. Go ahead and close that. <sighs> hey, my friend Michael. Uh, Michael Exile. He's a really cool guy if you want to watch. If you're a fan of DVD or Overwatch or a couple other games, uh, he's a cool guy to go watch and play. He's real sweet. Uh, he hooked me up with some free video editing software. So now I can actually edit these VODs down instead of just, uh, dumping them, <laughs> dumping them on the YouTube stratosphere and just being like, yeah, deal with that garbage. <laughs> cause like, and it couldn't be a better day when I had a freaking 20 minute stream starting soon session. Cause that, that would be just murder to sit through or like try to click through on an archive. Well, anyway, thank you everybody for stopping by. DJM, thank you. I really enjoyed the pleasant conversation. Uh, you guys all have a nice night. And I'll see you guys later. Later, man. <laughs>